Miami was born from a river and now reaches toward the sky. 54 square miles of the city proper snake along Biscayne Bay, but the greater metropolitan area, making up Miami-Dade County, is 45 times larger, occupying the whole southeastern tip of the Florida Peninsula. Miami-Dade is a land of contrasts. A dense city center spills out into suburban sprawl, a metropolis nestled between two large national parks, Biscayne Bay National Park and the Everglades. Miami contains the largest concentration of international banks in the United States, but in Miami-Dade County, 13.8% of families live in poverty, one of the highest percentages of any major metropolitan area in the nation. At the county's southern tip lies Homestead, a rich farmland yielding major agricultural crops, avocados, beans, tomatoes, and mangoes. Yet nearly 12% of county residents, many more since the pandemic, are food insecure. The Port of Miami is the busiest cruise port in the world. Miami International Airport is the nation's gateway to Latin America and the Caribbean. But many Miami-Dade residents lack the most basic transportation. 10% of county households do not have a vehicle, notably higher than the 6% statewide. The county is home to the richest zip code in America, 33109, Fisher Island, where the average yearly income is $2.2 million. It is also the most housing insecure county in the country. More renters and homeowners here spend more than 30% of their income on housing than in any other major metropolis. On any given night, 3,500 people are homeless. The city and the county are rife with such contradictions, but full of color. How did this magic city and county appear? For thousands of years, the region was home to the Tequesta Indians. Miami probably comes from the native word Mayaini, meaning big water or sweet water, referring to nearby Lake Okeechobee and its peoples. After years of colonization, first the Spanish, then the British, and finally the Americans, this swampy area was largely uninhabited. Then the railroad pulled into town. In 1896, Henry Flagler extended his Florida East Coast Railway to what is now Miami after two local landowners, Julia Tuttle and William Brickle, each gave him half of their land for the project. Flagler dredged the harbor, started constructing the Royal Palm Hotel, and promoted tourism. The city of Miami was incorporated the same year. But the railroad did not benefit everyone equally. Bahamian immigrants cleared the land and laid the track, but their own economic lives were constrained. Wherever Flagler built a railroad, it became the color line, with blacks restricted to living in the northwest corner of town. The legacy of segregation perpetuated itself into the Jim Crow era and beyond, even today. The city's rapid growth earned the moniker the Magic City. In the 1920s, the area flourished. Nearby, gambling enterprises anchored a new city called Hialeah. A real estate developer devised one of the first planned communities in America, Coral Gables. Aviation pioneer Glenn Curtis, enchanted by 1001 Nights, chartered a Moorish-themed city known as Opalaka. A massive 1926 hurricane, the Great Depression, and World War II paused the magic for a decade or two, but after the war, the boom resumed. 1950s Miami became a major tourist destination. Across the railroad tracks, Overtown, South Florida's Harlem of the South, also boomed. The tumult of the 1960s, combined with the development of the highway, once again divided the city along racial and economic lines. Interstates sliced through Overtown and Miami Gardens, effectively squashing the economic, cultural, and social lives of these thriving black cities. But the most dramatic transformation was yet to come. From the 1960s through the 1990s, one of the greatest demographic shifts in American history reshaped South Florida. After the 1959 Cuban Revolution, Several large waves of Cuban exile settled here. Tumult in Haiti, Nicaragua, Colombia, and Venezuela resulted in smaller but similar waves of migration. By the 1980s, the county hosted a plurality of immigrants. Florida International University, which opened in 1972, emerged amidst this transformation and took its name in large part because of it. By 2004, the United Nations had ranked Miami the number one city in the world for percentage of residents, 59% at the time, born outside the country. Majority Latino, the region remains one of the most cosmopolitan in the world. 
FIU hosts students from 142 different countries, and the College of Medicine was ranked by U.S. News & World Report as the number three most diverse medical school in the country in 2021. Most of us did not come from here, but we are Miami, and Miami is us.